Good morning from the Alaska Highway in Alaska. We are in our home state. Hundreds of miles from home, but still in our home state and it feels great. Today we are going to continue working our way down the Alaska Highway to the very end. And here's a little tidbit that you uh, might not know. This is the only stretch of highway that Rebecca and I, or I, I should say, have never driven. Uh, we've always turned left at Toke and headed towards South Central, but we've been to Fairbanks, but we've always gone up the Parks Highway. So this is going to be a new drive to us, which is pretty cool because there's very few new things that we still get to experience on the road system here. There's just enough clouds for character. The mountains over here are awesome. feels really good to be home. So today our plans are to drive to the end of the Alaska Highway. Then uh, we talked about going to, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's in the North Pole and it's like Santa's workshop. Pretty cool little touristy place, lots of Christmas stuff. And then we're off to China Hot Springs. We seem to be on a hot springs kick on this trip up the Alcan. Why not? You know, it's a great place to bathe and you, know, you get to conserve water in your tanks if you get to clean yourself off at the hot springs. So, probably about 240 miles of driving today and we appreciate you joining us. actually the end of the Alaska Highway. Yes it is. So, Quite momentous occasion. We've never actually been to the end of the Alaska Highway as Ben mentioned. We've not been all the way up this road so uh, this is new for us and and it really sets in when when you read 1422 miles. That's just from Dawson. Yeah it's been a long haul. Yeah. And it's a really neat visitor center and park here. Yeah. If you come over here, across the way, there's some of the historic road building equipment. And then, over here, you have the visitor center, then a cabin, and a cache. And here is the other mile post for the end of the Alaska Highway. Over here is a few quirky exhibits. Yeah, you have the sign of a truck taken on a bison. And some life-size mosquitoes. Time to get some fuel and uh, work our way towards the North Pole and Santa's workshop. In case you noticed a little uh, difference in the video quality, that's because we switched over to our Olympus. The Sony camera's memory card got filled up on us while we were in the middle of using it. Alright, we have topped off our fuel tank and got some propane. We're doing okay on water and uh, sewer dump, but if it happens, we're going to uh, jump on that opportunity. Over there you can see the Alaska Pipeline. And we're now crossing the Tanana River. The footage dump has been completed, so we're now using the Sony again. That's why it's nice having two good cameras. Obviously the Sony's better than our Olympus, but just in case situations like that arise, so you have another camera that shoots in HD for uh, when you do fill up that memory card off to Santa Claus's house. Are you ready to go see Santa? Yeah. 
Have you been a good girl? Yeah. Have you been naughty or nice? Tell me. And if you have kids that want to send a letter to Santa, that's the address. And they actually receive the letters. Smells like Christmas in here. It does. I wonder why. You know, we might find that sticker, I survived the Alaska Highway in here. Because there are a ton of regular old Alaska souvenirs. Uh oh, somebody found scarves. Yeah. Not as bad as the bag problem, but yeah. I don't know. You've seen that big rubber made out of full of scarves, right? Yeah. I think we should get matching pajamas for Christmas this year, buddy. Is that a onesie? It is. And look. Does it have the it has uh, a flap flap trailing behind? You know, it's missing the integrated booties it like I is. had as a kid. I know. That just ruins it for me. Santa's on break right now. This is the second time we've been here and that guy's been on break. He's always on spring break because we're always here in April. Oh, man. <laughs> Santa won't mind if I sit in his chair, will he? I don't think so. Okay. Mind what do you want for Christmas? Hmm. A trip around the world. I hope you guys are liking these little giveaways as much as we are having fun picking things out for you. But this is the next giveaway. A tree ornament from the North Pole Santa's house in Alaska. Decorated in the native tradition. Tradition, yeah. It's beautiful. The first person to answer that question correctly will have this shipped to their house. I thought we'd show you what else we got while we were here at the North Pole. I love owls, and so we got a little ornament, similar to the one we're gonna give you guys, but it's an owl. And we got another sticker for our sticker board, and we got a magnet for our stove, and a new glass. Here's a few of Santa's letters. Merry early Christmas. I would really like an iPhone 5, please. I know you are really busy and stuff, but I would really love it if you could. Dear Santa, how are you? My name is Anne. I am from Russia. I live in Moscow. I am eight. I've got a mom, a dad, a granny, and a cat. I'd like to have a letter from you. Best wishes. This little cutie sent in this one and it says, Dear Santa, I would like some hunting gear. I have seen this awesome slug bug, a toy snowmobile, and a toy Jeep. I would also like to have a toy truck, a <laughs> toy horse set. Thank you, Santa, for whatever I get, Keaton. This is a very unique one. It's in Braille. That's cool. That is really cool. It's a really fun place to visit, guys. So if you're ever in the Fairbanks and North Pole area, stop on in. Now, you know what it's time for? another soak in some hot springs, so let's go. This is what Alaskan frost heaps look like. I don't know if you can see it, but we can feel them. here at Chena Hot Springs. To our right's the Ice Museum. Then there's the greenhouse over there. The main lodge. And then over there are the hotel rooms. Overnight, Overnight RVs. RVs. 
So we are outside of the activity center here at China Hot Springs, and we are going to go to the ice hotel and have apple teenies. So come on. The tour starts at three o'clock and we pulled in here at 2.30, so that's why we're gonna do this now. You ready to go in? I'm ready for an apple tea out of It's windy. Sorry if you're getting wind noise. Everybody's donning right, their coats. So we are gonna stay together as a group in the beginning for about 10 minutes. So you guys ready for this? It's nice and chilly in here. Hello. Am I your tour guide for the day? You are. We got the workshop. I think they said he's making it up. It's time for our apple teeny poured by Tony. How many apple teenies have you poured over the years? Um, too many to count, I'm sure. <laughs> and actually, if you wanted, you could take your glasses up on that second layer level, and there's some more stools up there to sit at, but no table. Let's sit by the fire and drink our martinis. Sure. Oh, I can feel the heat radiating know, off it from so here. Cool. Cheers, guys. It's like an apple Jolly Rancher with alcohol. So one thing you guys do need to know, this place is great, but it's not cheap. So they charge $15 for the Ice Museum tour and $15 for the Apple Teeny. Each. Each. So we're doing this because we want to give you guys a uh, really cool experience. And I know it is torture having this Apple Teeny, but it's for you. <laughs> Here's Steve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our guide Tony mentioned that these two knights jousting is one of their oldest exhibits slash sculptures and it's uh, coming up on 10 years old. I like this guy. It's a pretty cool looking cheetah, isn't it? Mm-hmm. On a checkerboard. Yep. And here's the chapel. If you're looking for a really cool place to get married, you can get married here. Should we ever renew our vows in a uh, warm destination or a cold destination? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to decide. <laughs> this would be a cool place to renew one's vows. This would be a very cool place to do so. Since the ice wears out over time, they are doing work on the Aurora Ice Bar where they serve the apple teenies. So normally there's bar stools over there made of ice and uh, it's open to the public. but. It's been about four or five years since they've done some work on it and uh, they're going to get it ready for the summer season. You'll notice that they put little um, rounds of, I think it's caribou? Yeah, I think it's caribou as well. Uh, on each of the seats so you can sit down on animal hide, not freeze your arse. These globes are really cool. They are. Pretty Look colored. at that. This was originally designed to be an ice hotel, but there were some logistical issues. And this was gonna be one of the beds. Look at this, it's a cabin inside the bowl. There's the Big Dipper. What do you see over here? A cabin. There's a cabin? Yeah, see it? Oh yeah, I do see the cabin. <laughs> With trees and wow. all, everything. I wonder if they like sculpted that cabin and then froze a dome of uh, or a globe of water around it. I don't know. So guys, would you like to uh, stay in this ice hotel? Not that you can, but it'd be a pretty fun experience. Okay, going into this room now. There's the pooper. 
Either that or else it's a sauna. I'm not sure which it is. What do you guys think? Is this supposed to be a sauna or an outhouse? I'll be right back. <laughs> Ooh, there's no fan in here, honey. <laughs> For the longest time, I had a photo of this as my home screen on my computer. This because looks this so is cool. So pretty. The dancing aurora in the ice blocks. Pretty awesome. Off to the next trip. Low bridge. Ooh, I like this bed. This looks cozy. Except that, for it's freezing freaking cold in here. Yeah, that does look like a good bed. What do you see? Has it changed? Yeah, I don't know, Christmas tree last year. Yeah. Time. That's a cool looking Christmas tree. Here's another one of the hotel rooms that is not allowed to be a hotel. You know, I wonder if you get married here, if you're allowed to take a little time to yourselves afterwards. In one of the bedrooms. Like seriously, if you're paying the kind of money it would cost to rent this take thing out, out, like you seriously should be allowed at you know, half hour at least. So it's a common misconception that all of us Alaskans live in igloos. But here's one for you to yep. actually see. Wow, this one is low. I have to get on my knees to crawl into this one. Hello. I didn't have to crawl in. Wow. Okay, let's Okay, so wait. Now is your chance to demonstrate your piano skills on the xylophone. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not evenly spaced. That's not my fault. It's not accurate. Okay, let's go. Last call back here. Okay. And now out to the real world. <laughs> now it's time for a soak, isn't it? Yeah, time to thaw out. It's perfect because we're really cold now. These are the Gina Hot Springs pools. This is another pretty amazing place to visit if you're ever up in the area. Well, last night's soak was so relaxing, or we were so tired that once we got back to the motorhome, we fell asleep and forgot to close out this video. So we appreciate you. You fell asleep. I didn't. Well, then, okay, then I fell asleep, but she forgot to close out the video. How about that one? So we appreciate you joining us today. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and most importantly, enjoy the ride.